Welcome to writing Java apps on Cloud9 in Google App Engine. Let's understand and become comfortable with an application lifecycle process that lives 100% in the cloud. In this realm, everything is in the cloud. There are no local installs of any resources, including IDEs, databases, local servers, local Git, and etc. Everything is cloud-based, and we experience it all in the browser. With Cloud9 and Google App Engine, we've transformed to a virtual reality where application development is supercharged with much of the typical overhead we deal with as developers already done for us. The many resources we require to do application development are just there, ready for us to use. In this environment, we spend our time writing code and deploying apps, not struggling with all of the infrastructure we depend upon so heavily. It's an exciting and incredibly efficient place. Let's immerse ourselves. My name is Brett Hooper, and I'm a seasoned software engineer, technology consultant, and instructor. My IT career has spanned decades and includes many gigs with Fortune 200 clients, including major banks, insurance companies, and tech firms. Over the last few years, I've worked with the U.S. Department of Defense in an effort to prove the way forward for the U.S. military's next generation of mobile and web applications. I've produced many technical trainings throughout my career, and I'm delighted to bring this one to you. As we approach cloud-based development and deployment, we'll learn the basics of App Engine, Google's platform as a service offering, which is a service of the Google Cloud Platform. We'll integrate App Engine development into the Cloud9 online IDE to take our coding into the cloud and discover the efficiencies of developing in a virtual, browser-based IDE, including its powerful, virtual machine-based instances, ease of project creation, segregation, security, shareability, and availability all things that enhance the development experience immensely. In this course, we will introduce ourselves to Cloud9 and Google App Engine and gain an understanding of where these services originated, their major features, and how they've been designed to help us develop web applications so we can learn to work effectively and efficiently in a cloud-based environment. We'll learn how these services are accessed and how we can get ourselves set up to begin working with Cloud9 and Google App Engine in our own browsers without installing anything. We'll then shift our focus to working with App Engine and gain enough awareness of the Google Cloud Platform and its tools to make working with App Engine a breeze. We'll learn the necessary skills to create, manipulate, code, compile, and test projects created for App Engine. Then to deploy those apps that are ready for the cloud to the Google App Engine live environment. Then we'll begin some real App Engine Java coding in the Cloud9 IDE and develop two different apps to exercise what we've learned about cloud-based application development. We'll code up an app that provides a RESTful API service that leverages the power of a few of App Engine's inherent services along the way. We'll also create a JSP-based web client project with a backend that consumes even more of App Engine's amazing features and services and get a full understanding of how App Engine can make Java development for the cloud an easy go-to resource. After viewing the video sequence of this course and working through its exercises, we'll walk away with a thorough familiarity of Google App Engine for Java basics. We will have learned to use Cloud9 IDE for our App Engine development. We'll have an understanding of App Engine from the perspective of a service of the Google Cloud Platform. We'll know how to set up and code an App Engine RESTful API project, and we'll know how to set up and code an App Engine JSP-based client project with a powerful backend. Upon diving into this course, you should have a thorough understanding of coding in Java, and a solid understanding of servlet and JSP technology. Knowing how RESTful API services work will certainly help, as these are used in the course. Work through these lectures with me and we'll walk away with an actionable understanding of the Cloud9 and Google App Engine services, including knowing their great benefits, how to access them, how to set them up, how to set up a workspace for an App Engine for Java project, and be ready to change how we approach software development from all angles. We'll discover how we can radically change our measure of productivity as individual developers and as teams. Join me and we'll level up to coding in the cloud for the cloud.